Hello everyone and welcome to Map the Dragon Railways and today in this video we are going to be doing something a little bit different um, we're going to be looking at this now uh, this is uh, in fact a Rocket Railways uh, box that they do they do them for about £10 and uh, you just get a load of uh, goodies in it and uh, basically they, the business wants to reduce the waste they're throwing away as they don't like to say no to anyone they don't like to turn anything down that they get given but some of it's gone too far for them to be able to sell online so um they decided to reduce their waste they were uh, do these boxes they don't get um much profit out of it i don't think they get any uh, after all the packaging and staff costs but you know it's uh, something nice they've done and um the aim of this is for people who want a project these uh, are quite good, like I say, £10 and uh, you know, you just get a bunch of random stuff that uh, you may be able to incorporate on your layout or uh, keep for a future project. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, see what's in the one I got. So apart from lots of paper that I'm just going to throw over the camera, I'm just going to get rid of all of that. I have had a look through it and uh, we just got this piece of uh, paper t giving us 10% off and that. So uh, there's your box and its content. So I'm just going to put it next to you and um, go through all the random bits I got. So to start off with, <laughs> it's just a treat, which is quite nice. And uh, well, um, I'm not 100% sure what I will uh, use this for. I might even do it up as a Christmas tree and put on the layout uh, when December comes. Then we got a random piece of uh, plastic uh, with like a brick effect, I guess the, uh, you know, you could chop it up and use it for something. Um, even if you uh, made a little wall out of it, it might look quite nice. Um, here's uh, somewhere else, we got an old Triang signal and um, it's quite nice, it still functions and all that, it seems perfectly fine. All it needs is uh, a lick of paint and, uh, you know, making it look rather nice and uh, the signal arm being straightened out a bit but yeah I quite like that and uh, I might be able to uh, use that on Roger Bay or something replace a uh, plastic one then we got uh, this, this uh, plastic crane it's quite interesting um, I might be able to use parts of this on uh, the Bristol Harbour layout actually um, maybe the hook on the end of a dapple crane or um, even slice up you know for this section here and it might look nice on a wagon or lay about somewhere um, as uh, something that will be shipped off. Um, another thing, just a bit of hay, a little hay bale. Uh, we got a bit of Metcalf brick, a bit like the uh, plastic brick I already said about. Just a random off cut. And uh, this is quite interesting. Got a bag that actually has um, signal arms, brass ones. And they are LNW slash LMS one. So uh, yeah, and there's also some couplings. Um, I think I'll be able to put those into good use, as I have a Dapol uh, kit um, that I uh, purchased. It was already built, and uh, that didn't have couplings, so they might come in handy for that. We got some people. There's one of them. I'm sure I'll be finding them along the uh, along the journey, looking through this. Um, we got one of these. Uh, gradient things you know tells you what your gradient is um, along the railway now here's something a bit larger we've actually got a wagon body now uh, this is one that would uh, transport animals for the southern railway but you can see it's got no chassis so uh, the idea is you could probably actually turn this into uh, a grounded wagon and uh, yeah but I do quite like the idea of potentially restoring it and uh, finding it a chassis and making it a uh, roll on the rails again Another thing, it's actually quite unusual, but it's the front of a unit from what would be a, a you know, a die cast metal kit. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'll do with that, but I'm just going to keep it in the spares collection, as you never know, might find a use for it. Um, we got a cow, so uh, that will go down on Roger Bay, and uh, yeah, it'll look nice to join the field full of other cows. Another body, it's a brake van one, it's a very old trying one and it's uh, 
made of that plastic that's well known for warping quite a lot and as you can see this is a victim of all this warping not 100% sure what I will do with this but um, I definitely want to try and do something with it but yeah I think that's quite nice um, we've got a little hut I'm thinking possibly for Bristol Harbour uh, maybe even paint it up but yeah that's quite a nice little hut then let's have a look at we've got plenty of uh, fencing might put that on Roger Bay I'm not 100% sure yet and um, we've got actually a working light now I uh, tested it and it does work um, I tested it and wired it into the accessories bit on my Gage Master Combi controller and it seems to have already uh, melted it and it did get quite hot but I might be able to use the LED for something if not just use it as a lamp um, you know one that doesn't work and uh, put it somewhere on one of my layouts another thing is actually a tractor and it looks quite nice, it's a bit mucky, nicely weathered but it's actually missing a wheel and I actually have an idea for this which actually relates to another piece that's in this box and I'm thinking of possibly adding a bit of solder to extend the axle a bit and uh, there's this random piece of plastic that we got with a nice uh, effect on it and there's actually a bit of brick attached to it and I thought maybe I could slice a little bit of that up and have the tractor on bricks um, in the farm field you know with the cows that were on Roger Bay and uh, yeah like I say I got this bit of plastic too we've got this which would be for a work site might put on Roger Bay might put on Bristol Harbour I'm not 100% sure yet but I do think it looks really nice I really like that I've actually got the car which will go on Roger Bay that will go somewhere along one of the roads uh, we've got one of these uh, advertisement boards Happy motoring, trying minute cars and travel trying railways. I quite like this. I don't know if I have a use for it just yet. Um, might look nice on uh, my Bristol Harbour layout, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I might just leave it and just see if I can uh, give it a use. We got one of these uh, gauge things. Perfectly fine condition. Nothing wrong with it, actually. So yeah, that looks quite nice. And in fact, we do have another one but it's in a different, um, it's a different company, that one would be Hornby, that one actually has a, actually moves, so yeah, that's, that's quite interesting, isn't it? We've got a random bit of, uh, wooden fence, I'm sure that could be put into use somewhere, a random, uh, another piece of metal, I don't know what I could use that for, but I might find something, uh, more fence, got this I presume it goes in between the tracks as a you know crossing board or something for you know a crossing but yeah we have a cab interior for some sort of locomotive I'm not 100% sure what that would be for uh, what exact loco but yeah might come in handy might have a loco that's missing that ran a bit of plastic but I think that would look like a nice uh, something you know around the Bristol Harbour layout I'm not 100% sure yet I might even snip it up and make it smaller we've got a few lamps I quite like the idea of having one of these snipping the base off it snipping one of these lamps off having it in front of the shed on Bristol Harbour we have this as well I feel like might look nice on Bristol Harbour maybe uh, just uh, coming out by the shed summer stuck to the back scene just to add some something to it but I'm not 100% sure what yet but I'm sure I'll find a use for it if I don't go down that route another hay bale uh, more people I've even got gate um, I'm sure I can use it on the layout I've got a track pin <laughs> and I'm actually going to use that on Roger Bay so that was actually quite useful to have I got more fence, um, a tree stump, uh, more bits of plastic from fencing, um, a random plastic thing, a uh, what looks like a handbrake wheel actually, but yeah I might uh, put that on summer, I don't know. Another piece of plastic uh, wood effect which uh, I might actually uh, put with something that I'll show you in a second. We got plastic wheel always uh, useful to have some wheels just in case you get a piece of rolling stock that's missing one I've got something that's definitely going on uh, Bristol Harbour and that's just this little uh, 
box there and it says fragile on the side and that and I quite like that. Got another fence, this one's actually made out of real wood, it looks quite nice, um, it's a bit broken there but you know I might be able to give it a use. And I've got five beer barrels, um, the uh, Watney's beer, so yeah that's quite nice. Might use that with something else which is related to this other piece of plastic I was on about. We have this little cast uh, minecart, that's quite nice isn't it? Might paint that up, I don't re really know if I have a good use for it just yet. It does look like a piece from Monopoly but um might have something for it, I'll find out. Got another person there. We got a little canoe thing, that's quite funny isn't it? I don't know if I'll put it to use, maybe even sand down that and um, could always have it on the Bristol Harbour. I'm not 100% sure though, I might find some use to it, maybe even put it on the roof of a car or something, like I could put it on this Mercedes, <laughs> that would be quite funny wouldn't it, it'd look quite good actually. Another person, two telephone boxes, um, both have missing doors but there's actually a, a, you know, one there loose, and um, one actually has moulded detail of a telephone and that in there. But uh, this one doesn't, and I uh, like the idea of uh, basically in the UK scattered around are these uh, old telephone boxes that have been purchased and um, they've put like bookshelves in them, put books, and it's like a community thing where you swap books and take books and all that. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe it'd be nice to make one of them and put it on Roger Bay. I've got another random piece of fencing, I'm sure that'll uh, come to use somewhere. Then I've got three buffer stops which are really useful because I always run out of these. Um, that one's been snipped down, that one might snip down, these will go, uh, probably go in Bristol Harbour and then there's this one, I, it's probably Pico, it's been all painted up and it looks so nice, I really like this one. I'm quite pleased with that and uh, yeah like I say it probably go on Bristol Harbour and it looked quite nice there. Then I got this weird metal frame, well I have quite a fun idea for it. And um, basically this is uh, just about chest level for a double O gauge figure, at least uh, these ones in here. And uh, I've had the idea of potentially trying to uh, model Roger Bay in double O scale, um, a different type of double O scale, just make it on, uh, you know, this table, it might look quite interesting. So yeah, I thought maybe, you know, put a bit of wood or some card on it and paint up what looks a bit like a model railway, might even make it look like Roger Bay. And then that could actually go on the layout somewhere, maybe even in a house. Now one of the things that made me laugh so much is actually this little scooter. I actually really like this, it's all been painted really nicely and that will go on Roger Bay. And I, or it might actually go on uh, Bristol Harbour parked up as one of the workers' scooters, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I must say, I really, really like this, and it's uh, quite fun. Then on to something a bit interesting. I've got this uh, Southern uh, Railways uh, sort of cart. Its uh, wheels have come off, but a bit of glue won't uh, hurt that or something to sort it out. And you see it's actually got string where the uh, man is, um, you know, for a horse. Now, uh, I had the ideas of using one of the horses on Roger Bay, but in fact, it's come with a horse, so I might actually try and join this horse onto there and uh, that would be a nice little project. I've got more bits of plastic for fencing. In fact, uh, I forgot to say this Southern Railways uh, wagon is broken there but I have the idea of potentially taking out all the broken plastic, gluing it all together and refitting it. There's uh, plenty of this uh, plastic fence in the back. I'm not going to get every single bit out because now it's just uh, little bits like that, single planks. Um, we've got this uh, random piece of plastic here, done out as wood, looks quite nice, got some uh, words on the side, it says empty to Nottingham, so yeah that looks quite nice, I think I might be able to incorporate that in something, same as more fencing and even a gate, so that might uh, go nicely around the house or something. Now onto something else, we've got a telegraph pole, might put that on uh, Bristol Harbour or um, Roger Bay one of the two, might look quite nice, might even look nice on the Yorkshire layout by the um, Grandad Wagon there. Now on to uh, final bits and I uh, got this uh, Trying Wagon and 
it's it's basically fine apart from this uh someone's had a healthy uh, nibble at that hasn't haven't they so um my thought was to have these uh beer barrels that i spoke about earlier and have them loaded in there properly glued down and because of the chunk missing maybe seeing if i can do some uh, skill with that and try and cut a piece and glue in there and paint the whole wagon or something or uh, try and fill it in somehow and uh, make it look really really nice and I think this uh, wagon does have potential to look rather nice and finally onto the last thing which is actually another wagon it's a tanker wagon a shell bp one in fact i've restored one of these i had an earlier version uh, so yeah it's nice to have a letter one with the smaller wheel flanges axles a bit rusty not fussed about that um the only thing really wrong about this is uh, a missing top which i'm sure i can make some out of card that probably looked as realistic as the original thing i don't think i'll paint it i think i shall just uh you know uh, clean it up and uh, make a top for that and i think it'll look really nice on the model railways just running about so that's everything i got in this box now uh, these boxes do vary with what you get of course it's all random different things but yeah i think uh, it's quite good especially for 10 quid i think um the wagons are quite nice to have and uh, you've got definitely some good projects you know where in there so due to the whole uh, concept of this of giving you lots of projects I, uh, at some point next year, will uh, release a video going through what I've done with most of this and uh, what work I've actually done to it. So, uh, yeah, that would be quite nice to follow up. So, uh, if you want to see that, then uh, please subscribe to the channel so uh, you don't miss out. So, yeah, that's it from me. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave it a like. Comment down below, have you ever got one of these and what did you get in it? Or um, say hello if you want to get one of these. I will link Rocket Railway's website in the description uh, where you can take a good look at their stuff. And yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching and I shall see you all next time. Cheerio for now.